Have you ever noticed that to multiply by 15, all we have to do is add on half of the number, then multiply by 10, also known as stick a zero on the end. Let's see it again. We add on half of the number, half of 64 is 32, adding those gives 96, then stick a zero on the end. One more, we add on half of the number, 42 plus 21 gives 63, then we stick a zero on the end, 630. 15 love to us, am I right? But they were all even numbers. What happens when it's odd? All right, you got me. It gets a little trickier when it's odd because halving gives us a decimal, but we'll make up for it when we multiply by 10. Let's try 13 times 15. To halve 13, we can just halve the next number down. That's 12. Half of 12 is six. Then we stick a 0.5 on the end. Half of 13 is 6.5. Adding them gives 19.5. Now, to multiply by 10, we just lose the decimal, 195. That wasn't so bad, was it? Let's try 29 times 15. We can halve 28 instead, which is 14, then stick a 0.5 on the end, 14.5. Now, if that looks like a gruesome, we could just do 30 plus 14.5, which is 44.5, then take away the extra one to leave 43.5. We made it into an awesome. Now we just lose the decimal to give 435. But why does this wonderful technique work at all? Well, multiplying by 15 is the same as multiplying by 10 and multiplying by five, then adding the result. Let's see what happens on a small example, like four times 15. So four times 10 is 40, and four times five is gonna be half of that, right? Four lots of five is half of four lots of 10, so that's 20. Now look what we have here, our original number four, plus half of it, two, that gives six, which then gets multiplied by 10 to make 60. Why wouldn't you wanna have that technique up your sleeve? And what we have here isn't just a fun mental math trick, it's a real insight into an important property of multiplication called distributivity. That's a bit of a mouthful, so I like to call it Lego multiplication. It's our ability to break up a multiplication into smaller blocks and build them back together again, like Lego. It's at the heart of the long multiplication algorithm, which, let's face it, is often presented to us as a bunch of confusing steps with loads of opportunities to make a mistake. But it doesn't have to be if we understand what we're doing and why. That's what you'll get from our fantastic Times Tables book. It's a really engaging guide which covers the how and the why of multiplication. It's fun, fully illustrated, with easy to understand explanations and a laid back tone, and of course, lots of great tips and tricks that will not only make you feel like a mathematician, but will help you to develop a real understanding of multiplication. Find it on our website at sumsvanarchy.com or comment tables below for a link to purchase. It will help you to conquer the times tables without the tears.